So I woke up today morning and literally just my phone's just like blowing up about this whole RTX voice thing. All the cool kids are talking about it. All the cool YouTubers are talking about it. It's our turn to talk about it because as you can hear, it's windy in the background and I could use myself some quality noise suppression right about now. So let's do that. So you guys are absolutely incredible. I love you. Thank you so much. We are now at 5k subscribers. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. It's been 21 days since we got to 2K and you managed to go from 2K to 5K in 21. That I, it just blows my mind, absolutely blows my mind. The next goal is 10K. I'm not setting it anywhere in between because people get pissed at me if I set it too low. You guys have great hopes for this channel, which just makes me smile. And I'm very excited to announce a lot of you has been asking me for overclocking and underclocking guides. So that's going to be released Saturday because I want to release the videos you guys want to see. But for today, we are talking about RTX voice because Everybody has been talking about RTX voice. All the cool kids have been talking about RTX voice. It's my turn to talk about RTX voice and I have never used it. So this is going to be us using it for the very first time. So this can only be used on laptops that have an Nvidia graphics card or computers that have an Nvidia graphics card. So I have my razor blade here. That's what the mic's plugged into. That's what you guys are hearing right now. Eh, there you go. You can see the waveforms. So just before we begin, you guys have brought the numbers up once again. The number of people subscribed watching these videos is now all the way up to 8.8%. So if you guys like this video and you're proud of that, 91.2% of people that aren't yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Ding my bell, become part of the 360p gang. <sighs> Follow me on my social media here and here because I really want to hear what you guys want to see. I love releasing content that you guys like watching. Join our Discord, join our Reddit. I want to see you guys posting spicy memes and let's go on to the video. So today we are talking about RTX Voice. Nvidia recently released RTX Voice. It is basically their own AI version of removing noise gain on your microphone, which can be groundbreaking. Because for example, if you have computer fans going on in the background, like I do, that can be heard on your microphone. If you're living in a noisy environment by default and you want to stream or record YouTube, that is can also be removed by AI. And AI is constantly growing and getting better. So let's try this out. I'm super excited to know whether this thing can actually improve my audio quality by removing the noise gain. Because if you remove noise by measures like Premiere Pro or other measures, there will always kind of be this weird artifacting in the background. You can hear that there was noise removed. And let me tell you guys straight up, I always remove 7 dB of noise, give or take, from all my videos. So if you guys can hear that, that's, that's why my computer fans are on in the background. And I really don't want you guys to hear that. That's what's happening there. So yeah, let's go on to actually using this. So first off, again, you will need a laptop or computer with an NVIDIA graphics card. It says on the website that you will need RTX. So NVIDIA have kindly released a setup guide for us to try out. So there is a bunch of supported apps, but believe it or not, anything that can use your microphone can actually use this. So I will be using my default recording software, which is Adobe Audition to show you guys this. So that's actually not on the supported apps. So it actually works with a lot more apps than the supported apps on the list here, which is great. But you know, you have all your favorite Streamlabs, your OBS, your Discord, Google Chrome, etc. So all your favorite apps are supported. NVIDIA RTX is a new plugin that leverages NVIDIA RTX GPUs and their AI capabilities to removing distracting background noise from your broadcast voice chats and remote video conferencing meetings. I'm pretty sure this only works with NVIDIA RTX graphics cards. Please let me know if I'm incorrect on that. It says here requirements to use RTX voice, you must be using an NVIDIA GPU. GeForce RTX or Quadro RTX graphics card. Okay, so it does seem it only works on RTX, but that makes sense. It's called RTX Voice. And then in Setup Guide, basically what you want to do is you want to click Download App. Make sure you have the latest drivers installed for your graphics card. And once you've done that, you basically select your input device, so the microphone that you want to be using this on. And then you can also actually select your output device. If you want to remove noise in like movies or your Spotify songs, it works really weird on Spotify songs, by the way. Really weird. So I'm going to now launch and click remove background noise from my microphone. It's on. Can you guys hear any difference? Is there any difference in the way the audio sounds right now? Um, I'm kind of hoping there is. Just looking at the audio waveform here that's forming in front of me, there is a difference. It seems to be a lot thicker. And when I stop speaking, there's no noise whatsoever. So if I stop speaking now,
a truck just drove past. And that waveform right there was completely empty. This is so far, it's insane, but I feel like we need to test it a little bit more. So I stole my mom's Rover. <laughs> this is pretty much the loudest thing I own. So let's go. That is clearly just not going to work the way I thought it was. So it's it's about halfway. The noise the noise suppression is halfway right now. So I'm going to bring it up to a hundred percent, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put the Hoover like over here as if we were as if we were Hoovering, you know, all the way over there. And now it's on. Can you guys still hear me speaking while the Hoover is on in the background? That's what I want to know because I'm Hoovering right about now. And um. I'm not sure how good this is, but right now I'm actually going to turn off RTX voice. So, right now it's it's off. Yeah, it's off right now, and it, it, this doesn't seem to be going very well. So, now I'm turning RTX voice back on. RTX voice is now back on. <laughs> Can you guys actually hear me pretty well right now? Because that, that's that's what I want to know. That was clearly quite an intense test. Um, probably unnecessary as hell. I really want to know what that sounds like. Because, you know, all the cool kids have been talking about how insane it is. I want to know if I can use this if, like, my dog's barking downstairs or there's, like, trucks driving past. Or there's children, demonic children screaming outside. Or like my mom's hoovering outside, you know, it's it's kind of annoying. People always hoover outside. That was probably pretty unrealistic. I wouldn't normally have anybody hoovering inside my room while I'm recording, but I feel like uh, even if they were, they wouldn't be this close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit more realistic because I feel like you guys might want to see this be a little more realistic. We're going to grab some tape and we're going to put it onto the hoover to make sure it's constantly pressed down. And I'm going to put it out by the door um, I'm back. The Hoover is on. Let's enable RTX voice. RTX voice is now on. I want to know if you guys can hear this right now, because the Hoover is all the way over there. It's sucking stuff in. By the way, I have RTX voice off right now, because again, I don't actually know what it sounds like, and I like having my audio consistent, so... Maybe after this, I'm just going to switch to using RTX voice full time. I'm kind of hoping that's the case to remove all background noise. That was probably one of the dumber things I have ever done in my life. But hey, what don't I do for you guys? <laughs> Let's do another real world test. Someone just went into the shower. I bet you can hear this. Yup. That can be heard 100%. So this is another thing that's really annoying. My room is right next to somebody's bathroom. Let's turn on RTX voice. RTX voice is on, no waveforms. I cannot see a single waveform. I'm really hoping my voice doesn't sound too bad, like distortion wise. So I'm actually going to try turn RTX voice down to about halfway. And we are going to see what it sounds like then. Still no waveforming. And I believe my, my voice will probably not sound as distorted, even if it did sound distorted. So yeah, that's really, really cool. So far, looking really good for RTX voice. Again, let's get that mug sip in, because I know you guys will want it. Almost choked there. That's going to be it for today's video. Basically, I wanted to try this out for you guys, because uh, some people actually believe that, you know, all the other, like, cool kids, the bigger tech YouTubers, they might be sponsored by NVIDIA to do some sort of crazy changing with the audio, etc., removing the noise gain. You know, you know, I'm not going to be sponsored by NVIDIA, so real world tests. So uh, I'm really interested to see how this performs in post when I take a look at it. Can you guys still hear me speaking? Wait, no while way. the Hoover is on in the background. What the f***? Because I'm Hoovering right about now. No way. I'm not sure how good this is. What, right what now, the f- No, wait, no. Off RTX voice? Wait. Oh. So, right now, it's- it's No way! That is yeah, insane! It's off right now, and it, it- this doesn't seem- That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. If you like the video, make sure to give it a like. It only takes you a few seconds, and it helps me out a lot. If you guys are part of that 91.2% of people that aren't yet subscribed and you want to see future videos coming from this channel, I post tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if that floats your boat, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on my social media here and here because I want to hear what future videos you guys want to see. Once again, if you guys like the video and you want
want to see future content, make sure to subscribe, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace. I finally have my 128 micro SD card, so our recording time is not a problem anymore because, you know, sometimes I fail a lot during these videos and the micro SD card just fills up and it's a giant mess. Time.